Hello everyone, welcome back to Juno New Origins, where I continue my career playthrough. The previous video was recorded during a live stream on Twitch, and I edited down a three-hour Twitch live stream to produce the video, but I'm not intending to do that again, uh, as it cuts out a lot of explanation, and it's better if I just do it for YouTube so that you understand what's going on, instead of me cutting out all the interactions with the audience for Twitch, in which case I might miss some things that were necessary for clarification. In particular, I think I cut out too much of the explanations for why I was doing particular maneuvers, and it seems like that was very unclear. So, the main struggle, especially in the previous video, has been that I didn't have the periapsis around Brigo visible on the UI until the very end when I restarted after I enabled planet icons. And so because I couldn't see the periapsis until we got into Brigo SOI, I didn't know on the initial transfer burn how high we were, and therefore we ended up doing some very inefficient things. Uh, that was not my intention, I know that that's not the best way to go, but I just couldn't see the number. So, yeah, hopefully now we can see those numbers, and I'm not going to have to deal with that again, but uh, still I'm getting used to UI stuff. Anyway, we will continue career. And we have a raining rockets. Uh, so I uh, saw this in the previous video at the end of the live stream. We got contact with Evelyn Shotwell, and uh, it wants us to launch a new craft, exceed an apoapsis of 75 kilometers, don't touch the water, aim for the center of the drone ship, and hold on grounded for 30 seconds. And it will unlock a new location, the new launch pad, though. Well, I haven't really needed one of those, but uh, now where is the drone ship is a good question. Um, so we might have to use the other launch site because that one might be closer to the barge. After all, the barge is presumably on water and our current launch site at the village is very far away from water. So I'm guessing that we, we might want to relocate it to the other launch site. Uh, well, we don't have a list here. So, but anyway, let's uh, get a vehicle that will allow us to touch down safely on a drone ship. This is a lander. <laughs> but, 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 very importantly, uh, this doesn't uh, have much thrust at sea level. Or any thrust at sea level. So this is not a suitable situation for our drone ship landing. Uh, well, maybe we can reconfigure it, though. We could go gas generator. And now we have a lot of thrust weight ratio. No delta V, though. 1.46 is okay. That is pretty huge. We want the delta V. Maybe we want a larger... cone. But we could just use this for the final bit of landing. So we don't need it necessarily humongous. I wouldn't mind for our purposes to have max gyros. We don't need too much battery though. This is not going to be a long trip. Well, it's, uh, gas generator is the best we've got right now. 1.53 kilometers per second at zero is not bad. And a starting thrust weight ratio of 1.88 is not horrible either. 12x nozzle area ratio is sort of a number that makes me happy. I guess I'll tuck in these legs a little bit more. How stable are they going to be? I don't know. I mean, it's possible. We'll have to feel this out a little bit as far as the aerodynamics are concerned. I don't think we need the second stage. We just need to launch up, come back, uh, probably ditch this stage, come back down with just that. Let drag do its work. Well, that's the best thrust weight ratio. I mean, that's as low a thrust weight ratio as I wanted to have. Okay, uh, for this one, we just need to see where the heck the drone ship is, and then we'll plan a little bit more afterwards. Right now, I don't think we have enough of a sense of what is being required. So, uh, let us just proceed. 
and see where we need to go. Okay, map. Well, uh, I think... Is that flag the drone ship? See, now I don't know what... Where the drone ship is. And... I'll click on that. Craft icons, maybe. Um... No. And, uh, let me just check double-clicking on Brigo right now. Uh, where's Brigo? It's not working. <laughs> Uh, it was working last time, but now if I click on Brigo, it's not working again. And I suspect that that's a drone ship and we should probably be launching from this site here instead. That is my theory. But we'll try and go over there this way first. It's gonna be harder. But let's see. Let's see if we can... Translation mode is probably not what I wanted. Um, let's see if my theory is correct, and hopefully we'll get a sighting of the drone ship. Alright, uh, so we're wanting to head, let's say, 120 degrees. Ignition. Very low thrust weight ratio, lots of drag. more north. Oh, now we got a targeting thing. Ah, uh, we're shy. We're shy. We're not gonna get over there. But okay, it's basically confirming that that's the drone ship. Can we, like, land and refuel the thing? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, well, uh, let's flip around. Well, let's get into thinner... Let me uh, get it off lock here. But we probably need thinner atmosphere to be able to flip. Let me just jettison the spin stage. Oh, oh, uh, cut, 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 stop. Well, I mean, I guess we should burn forward a bit. Okay, you know what? Let, let's try that. Uh, okay, maybe I do need some control there. And we want to overshoot a bit. I don't know how much we want to overshoot based on drag, but let's say more. 1.44 kilometers per second. I'll take that. Let's say by that much. Then we have 1.36 kilometers per second. Okay, I want you to hold retrograde for a sec. Now, we might burn up. <laughs> we might be going too fast. We'll see. If we launched from the site closest to it, we probably wouldn't. There's not much speed required there, but we're going very fast right now. Now, technically, it says land a booster on the drone ship. We're not really landing the booster. We are landing the payload, but let's not talk about that. I think we can sort of aim straight down. We're, we're not even in the atmosphere yet. So I'm going to retro a bit. And this is as much as I can zoom here, but we've, we do have that indicator outside. So what I'm going to do is, if this length is longer than this length, I will retro, basically. Looks like we're a little bit too far south right now. Command this is taking heat jam damage. Oh, I was afraid of that. Maybe we should... Oh, it's paused. That's why. Ah, oh, excessive explosion damage. Okay, well, all right. Uh, I mean, we're doing pretty well considering we were at the wrong launch site. I'm afraid we're going to have to go with the other launch site. Um, 
Well, we'll save this flight. I mean, that was uh, that was the test I wanted to do. And we are going to we gotta edit this a little bit. I don't I don't want it to be this stout. I felt that the upper stage did fine, but we don't want to have such a huge uh, inner stage. So I'm gonna move these in a bit. That's a pretty hefty starting thrust weight ratio. We can make it cheaper by just making this smaller. Um, yeah, stage one isn't gonna need that much more. Okay, well, making it cheaper and smaller helps as far as launching from the other launch site since it won't cost quite as much. I think this must be the one, right? Let's see. I mean, we only have two choices. Hopefully this one is closer than the other one. Checking map. Oh, it's here. That's not ideal. We'd like this launch. Oh, now I can click. Okay, so uh, first time out, I wasn't able to click on these. Now I can click on the drone ship Drew Space Center. Okay, so first time I launch, I can't do that. And then, oh, wait. Uh, okay, now I can click on Luna. All right. So, yeah, well, take that for what it's worth. Hippolyta ground station. So we still have to cover a distance though. So that's not great because we're going to get heat damage, but it won't be as much hopefully. Uh, so 75 degrees to 80 degrees. Startle up and launch. Well, well, we don't have the stabilization on. Gosh darn it. What, what is with this one? This uh, Any form of this rocket just doesn't like to have the stabilization on to start off. A desert launch site. I definitely like the village one better. If we can have some of this stage left over, we can retro on the way down. But that's dangerous too. That's dangerous because then we still have to separate from it. And it can smack us again. I know it's the icon on the nav ball, you don't have to tell me. <laughs> yeah. No, we're not gonna have extra. We're a little bit too far south. But we're a lot slower. Oh, for all down first. Oh, see, see, hitting us. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Please don't come back. <laughs> we actually are too low right now, too. I don't think we'll need more than that, maybe. Uh, but let's have some margin. It's better to slow down than to speed up right at the end. Hey. Oh, we've got new things here. Just noticed. Oh, we've still got the engine on? I had it off, I thought. But... Okay. That's fine for me right now. Well, if you need to do corrections, do it before you hit the thicker part of the atmosphere. I can't see a darn thing with that map right now, but maybe there's some map zoom thing in some menu hidden somewhere, but... I'll just use what I've got on the nav ball right now. Coming in. Please let be a big drone ship. <laughs> okay, I feel like we got falling short, so I'm gonna... Try and... Boost up a bit. Our gyros are doing great. Eh, we're gonna run out of enough juice. Not too far off, though. So, let's see how far away we ended up. 
Oh, so what kind of velocity we have to kill on touchdown. That's how much we have to save. About six kilometers away. Now we need to save, let's say a hundred, just to be safe. And splash. Um. No, I'll I'll I'll, I'll take the loss. We've got money. Yeah. Uh, I want to try a few touch-ups. We certainly could do with more here and less. Uh, well, and also more down below, to be honest. Um, let's just... Uh, I want this to get us over there, not fall short. So... We could make the gyros a little bit lighter. And the landing legs... We can widen that out a little bit, maybe... Okay, I, I don't want them sticking out. Okay. So first stage at the start, 1.77, nearly 3 kilometers per second. Second stage, 2 kilometers per second if we go sea level and 2.32 in vacuum. And... Yeah. It's not a booster, but... <laughs> And now uh, we had grid fins or something, or some aerodynamic thing that we could fold up on launch and deploy on this stage. Maybe we could control our landing, or you know, use RCS thrusters. We could control our landing a little bit better without using our engine. But right now we're just using the engine. At least it didn't explode on entry this time. Launch cost is expensive, but again, altogether it's still less than a million, and we've got 1.2 billion, so I can't complain. Now, gauging exactly how far we need to overshoot is important. Throttle up and make sure that the stabilization is on. And again, the heading wasn't too bad. So we'll go with that again. And launch. We could certainly build a bigger rocket and do it even more decisively or something, but... A nice stage that can get us where we're going and another stage to land us is good enough. Well, that's that stage anyway. Looks like a firm strike on it, but we need to go a little bit further. So... Let's tilt a bit. Let's put that off. Ooh, ow, whoa, ow, ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Again, better to slow down than to have to speed up. Last time we were doing some hovering in an attempt to keep at it. So I'd rather slow down than do that. Okay. Still got two kilometers per second. Gamma. Well, okay, that's our player craft, yeah. Well, we can click here, and here I can click Brigo. And here I can click the drone ship. There's another drone ship called drone ship without a space. <laughs> but so I can click using this thing. And that's fine. It's just the clicking on the map that doesn't work. But I'm pretty sure it's supposed to work. <laughs> so, oh uh, well. So what I'm doing here is I'm going on the opposite side of the retrograde marker than the target and I'm trying to push the retrograde marker towards the heading that the target is on. And of course if I want to go longer, if I want to stay up for a longer period of time I'll pitch up and if I want to shorten up I'll pitch down below the retrograde marker. If the target marker is getting close to a 90 degree, closer to a 90 degree pitch than the retrograde marker is going, we need to shorten up. Uh, 
If the opposite is true, then we have to hover a bit. At least there's no ignition limit. So here, I think I need to hover a bit. Push that retrograde marker down. And we could even go on this side to cover more ground on the opposite side of the retro target marker. So that'll speed us up a bit. Well, we'll be less than six kilometers this time. So I'm going opposite in order to go towards the drone ship. And then sometimes going north. And we remember how much we need to reserve. Okay. Oh, 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 north, north, uh, this way, this way, this way, more, oh no, oh no, <laughs> I was doing so well, no, this way, oh fudge, abort, <laughs> uh, oh shoot, uh, Now we're screwed. <laughs> oh shoot. Uh, uh okay, I I screwed up a little bit. Um I mean I I'll I'll be doing the same thing again, but I'll take the loss, yeah. I think we had plenty, it's just that uh, the, the terminal part I was messing up on. Mm, we need to be a little bit more careful about that. Okay. Practice makes perfect. Ball up, now ball out. And I'll just target it like this this time. Okay. We have our target and ignition. Whoa, 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 I forgot about the stabilization system that never wants to turn on initially. Uh, okay, hold on, let me make sure that we're not doing something horrible. Right. Maybe it's just this craft and I need to rebuild a uh, craft from scratch and then everything will work perfectly. Okay. And yeah, but I mean same situation as before. Okay, separation. Separatrons, we need separatrons or the equivalent. Well, here we go again. You know what? I could go one quarter time and that would make it a lot easier in the last bit. That is a fringe benefit around here, isn't it? I'm not setting myself up to go long nearly enough initially. Well, now we're sort of trying to come straight down this time. After last time, it's more lateral extravaganza.
Uh, oh, okay, okay, we did it. <laughs> uh, we might need to um, refine that a little bit, but... I mean, it wasn't that many tries, so... I'll take the win, if we can get it. Alright, done. Raining rockets. It did indeed. Alright, save flight. Okay. Well... I mean, we've still got the other stuff. <laughs> Let's take a look at the tech tree. I mean, it's the same. Well, I thought uh, Miss Shotwell would have something else for us, but um, explosives with a hole. We've sort of got a lot of those, but um, heat shield coating, parachutes, solar panel. Well, I feel like we ought to get solar panels. If maybe they'll give us and gyroscopes. Darn it. Maybe it'll give us some interplanetary thing. Striped fuselage. Hemispheres requires mechanical... I guess we should have some mechanical engineers struts and blocks, I guess. Don't see the point in struts and blocks, but... I wanted round fuel tanks, and I guess these hemispheres are what we would go with there. But... Not critical. Docking ports would be nice. Single stage to orbit. Well, we could do that. But anyway, I don't. I don't know about the other ones. I guess we'll have to tackle some of these. But I think landing on the barge was enough for one episode. <laughs> so, or the drone ship. Uh, next time. We will do the Luna flyby in the hope that it will ask us to do a Luna landing. And that would be interesting. So we're gonna, we, we tackled Brigo in the previous video. Next video I hope to focus on Luna and we'll see if that works out for us. Uh, we might have to do fireworks in the middle of that. Uh, no, I'll just accept it now. We've got a lot, lot of active job stuff. How about we go from Brigo orbit to the Luna flyby? Right? That would require a slightly larger rocket. Brigo SOI, nice tight Brigo orbit, and then transfer from Brigo to Luna. I think maybe we'll try that. Though, I mean, you know, we've got Brigo landing thing here too. All of the above. <laughs> uh, land. Launch. Oh no, go to Luna first, fly by, go back to Brigo, land. Maybe. Okay, we'll think about that next time. And with that, I'll say thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I will see you next time.